Welcome back. I hope you are doing awesome. As a part of our conceptual class, we understood primarily there are two types of tables in Hive. One is managed, second one is external. In managed, data is managed by the Hive itself. But in case of external, data is not fully managed by Hive. Whatever the tables we have created so far, in all of our previous practical classes, all of them are managed tables. As we know, all the data, whenever we create a managed table, defaults to user hive warehouse directory. Now, how do we create the external table? Let us see that now. Let us see which are the databases we have. Show databases. We do have, and we'll Go ahead and use Hive DB. Hive DB. What are the tables in this? Let us see that. We have customers and orders. We'll create a one external table as a part of this database. How do we do that? Let me reuse my earlier code. Create. We have to specify a external keyword here and the same thing table customers let us rename this as a customer external table when we want to create the external table we have to specify the location in which the data of this table to be stored because if you don't provide a external keyword the way we have created earlier, that is a managed table, that data defaults to user high warehouse directory. But when you are specifying the external keyword, that means you are creating an external table, you have to specify where do you want this data to be stored in SDFS. You got to go ahead and specify the location. So let me go ahead and choose on location location remember you got to give that in single quotes let's go ahead and see what should be our location hdfs dfs iphone ls okay we already have a folder called big data hdfs let us provide this directory as a location for the external table We just have one text file here. Within this, we'll say folder external. We are all set. Let's go ahead and execute this. We created the external table. Show tables. We have external table created here in this hive db database let's go ahead and see what is happening here in hdfs you can see that folder is also created here now do we have any data within this folder not really because we have not inserted any data here external no data is there now let's go ahead and insert data into this external table. I'll use the instead of this table, I'll go ahead and specify this particular table. Let me go ahead. I'm inserting one record into external table inserting let's go ahead and choose the data so show tables we have this say select star from you can see one there'll be one record inserted into this table we have inserted this record into this table now let us go ahead and see how it is reflecting in the HDFS. 
remember we have specified the path as big data hdfs folder external so whatever the data we inserted that will go and sit in this directory let us verify that if you can check now there you go there is a file here let's go ahead and cat this file and see what are the contents of this file you can see this record as a part of this file this is how you create the external table and when you create the external table you got to specify the location where you want to store this data remember this location in sdfs now we inserted the data the data goes and sits as a part of this particular folder one more aspect i want to show you if you want to check what is the type of the table all you have to do is you have to say describe formatted and provide the name of the table let's go ahead and see what kind of a table it is if you go ahead and say describe formatted and the table name in this case customer external table it will display us all the aspects you can see it is displaying all the information about the table what are the different columns we have you can see table type here is external table let us go ahead and execute the same command we'll describe the manage table and see how it looks like which is the manage table we have now manage table what we have is orders now let's go ahead and describe that when we ran a command describe formatted on the manage table that is orders we can see all the data whichever we have seen the same thing is displayed and you can see here table type is manage table okay this is one more way of seeing the tables whatever we have created is a manage table or external table assuming that you are in a project within that the different people would have created the tables if you want to see type of the table you can execute this command in case we delete the manage tables it deletes both data and metadata but if you delete the external table it deletes only the metadata let us see that what are the manage table and what are the external tables here customers and orders are the manage tables here and customer external table is a external table here we'll delete both of them and see how it reflects on the data in hdfs first and foremost thing is i will delete the manage table remember manage table data is there in high warehouse directory let us go ahead and check that first we have customers and orders here right let me go ahead and check warehouse we have test db right within that we have sorry hive db dot db this is the database now within this we would have customers and orders these are the two managed tables do we have the data within this yes we do we have already inserted the data let us look at the data in customers you can see there are three files here because we inserted three times that is the reason we have three files let's go ahead and drop this table in hive and see what would be the impact of dropping the manage table in hive on the files in hdfs let me go ahead and drop this drop table customers let us go ahead and see how many tables are there here show tables you can see there are only two tables because we dropped we deleted one manage table in hive 
let us see what will happen here no it says no such file or directory we just executed this right before we dropped this table we executed this we could see there was a folder and we could see there were three files in this so the data is deleted because it is a managed table data let's go ahead and see if there is a any folder also the table is deleted because of that folder and the data within that folder both of them are gone you can see when we dropped a managed table customers when we dropped it the data corresponding to that is also deleted in sdfs let's go ahead and drop the external table you can see when i say show tables i do have one customer external table we do have the data for this in big data sdfs let me show you the data first sdfs dfs iphone ls big data sdfs okay we do have folder external let us go ahead and see folder external there is a data here wonderful now that we understood this what we need to do now is we need to drop the external table and we have to check how dropping the external table impacts the data in hdfs let's go ahead and drop that show tables i'll say external table here you can see external table let's go ahead and drop that drop table remember dropping a external table should not delete the data the way it happened with the managed table let me go ahead and we dropped it let's say show tables we have only orders table as a part of this database so we have dropped the customer external table where is this data the data we specified that in big data hdfs folder external let's go ahead and see if the data exists there or not could the same command we do have the data remember in external table the data would be there even though you would drop the external table because this data may be required by other components like big hbase and all wonderful we understood how the managed tables are created which we have been creating and as a part of this lecture we understood how do we create the external tables itself and when we drop the managed table it deletes both the data and metadata on the other hand when we drop the external table it deletes only the metadata the data in hdfs is intact because it will be used by other components like pig hbase and any other components in hadoop wonderful thank you very much please do practice all these things after watching the video thank you mm -hmm.